Welcome everybody back to Animal Crossing. This is Zombie Chris. And today we are celebrating a Turkey Day event. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Indigenous Peoples Day. Welcome back. So, let's see what's going on here. I, I've specifically tried to um, avoid any knowledge of anything that's going on today. Uh, to be just completely surprised because I knew I wanted to record this. I also wanted to record the thing. Uh, I also wanted to record the Halloween part, but yeah, that didn't happen. Like, despite this lovely looking pumpkin patch here. Um, but you know what? Is okay. We're, we're here for Turkey Day. What's up, man? Franklin. Professional chef extraordinaire. Nook Inc. hired me to come look, to come cook for everyone. I don't know why this is my accent now, but I guess it just is. See, Turkey Day is about celebrating the harvest and preparing a feast with all those fresh ingredients. And no one knows feasting like turkeys, which is why they called in a professional gobble gob. Well, I say that. But right now, it's what those of us in my line of work would call a conceptual feast. Make no mistake, I brought with me everything I need to whip up a positively gobblicious clam chowder. But today is about nature's bounty, not my professional excellence. I want to use local ingredients where possible. Just a three manila clams would be all I'd need to adapt to my award-winning cloud chowder recipe. But I typically have people to do my clam digging. So where am I going to find a digger on such short notice? I suppose that's where I come into play. But I'm going to do that here in just a second. Because first things first, I'm going to go open my gates just in case people want to show up. Alright, I opened my gates, sent off a few messages for any friends that might want to join me. Let's go ahead and get started. I want to talk to Hammy first, or Hamlet first. <laughs> Whisk for a minute. <laughs> How many pan lifts? Looks like everybody's over here having a good time. Let's just talk to a few people first. Oh, fan of the celebrity chef, then, huh? A little bit of this, that, and other, huh? All right, well, I guess if you all want to see this world-renowned chef, then I'm definitely going to have to get to work. So I need to find three manila clams. There's one. I'm using my good, I'm using, I'm using my good Label brand Converse to kick, kick down the sand. Pardon the, uh, the still in progress construction of the, uh, the Blue Water Renaissance Festival coming soon. Although it hasn't had any progress done on it in quite a while. <laughs> Alright, Manila Clams. Where are you? There you are. Look at you. Buried in the sand. Gorgeous. Manila's my favorite flavor. All these fishies. Oh, if we're getting local ingredients, then I'm probably gonna have to do some fishing. All right, that's three. Yes, chef. Oh, oh no. I'm definitely gonna have to uh, make a chef outfit for what's going on here if I'm gonna be a chef sister. Well, hey, Franklin. Everyone must be salivating to get a taste of my cooking. I'd love to start on some clam chowder. If only I had a digger to, fesh, to fetch me three fresh manila clams. I'd do it myself, but these are chef's hands. Without an assistant digger, I despair of getting my ingredients. You can have these. What? Did you bring me my ingredients? Look, chef, chef. Why are these highlighted? Hold on. 
What? Um, just throw an orange in there. I'll hopefully figure out what that means later. Well, what do you know? Fresh manila clams from this very island. These are some beauties. I would make the finest clam chowder you've ever had with these magnificent mollusks. Now then, I've got everything I need, so... Let's get cooking! Thanks to me, and also you to some extent, we've got some delicious clam chowder ready to serve. Folks tend to, under uh, to underrate soup, but they should think twice. Some nice, fresh manila clams can really satisfy. I'd like to show my appreciation for your help, and present to you a Turkey Day rug. I'll say this, for an amateur, You've got to realize for ingredients. Next on my menu, I plan to cook up some pu uh, pumpkin pie. Man, I wonder where I'm gonna get the pumpkins. I was going to hire a gopher to fetch the ingredients, but he didn't show. So how would you like to be my gopher? Yes, chef. Oh, I really appreciate this. Even a brilliant chef is nothing without an eager assistant. Let's make this a red letter turkey day. Let's talk turkey about what we'll need to make pumpkin pie. I need an orange pumpkin plus a yellow pumpkin. Once it's all stirred in, I'll make for the be I'll make the best pumpkin pie the island has ever seen. If you don't have what we need, someone else might. No shame in asking around for help. That's how I recruited you, after all. Yes, chef. Looks like I have a visitor though. So. They'll probably be popping in here any second. They they couldn't get here because I was in the middle of a conversation with a world-renowned chef, mind you. But looks like someone's on their way. Oh, Rin's coming. Well, of course, the main part about Thanksgiving, and by extension, Turkey Day, isn't necessarily the food, isn't catering to a world-renowned chef. It's spending some time with your friends. So I'm gonna go be a gracious host, and I'm gonna say a nice hearty hello. Uh, uh, this one. Hello. I'm gonna go change. Here in a minute. Um, actually, I was supposed to make pumpkin pie. So let me grab, I'm just gonna get some uh, some pumpkins. I'm gonna get some pumpkins. Um, so I needed some of these. And 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 some of these. And let's get some of these. And some of these. Because it let you select extra ingredients. So, oh, oh, rubbing it in my face. I haven't been able to find any of the mushroom ingredient or like recipes at all like I don't have any mushroom recipes other than the one Isabel gifted me so rubbing it in my face I see I see how it is it's okay it's okay our next dish will be a pumpkin pie absolutely stuffed with pumpkin the main ingredient is simple an orange pumpkin and a yellow pumpkin. I'll get started preparing it here. Once you get your hands on the ingredients, bring them back to me. Yes, chef. So soon? That's great. Let me see what you found. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. You want pumpkin. You heckin' want... Not oranges. You heckin' want pumpkin. Uh, oh, okay. So it won't let you select. Okay, it has to be specific. Got it. Will he tell me I'm an idiot if I give him a different pumpkin? I don't know. Uh, 
Nice! Reliable assistance and high quality ingredients make a master chef's work that much smoother. Now then, I've got everything I need, so... Let's get cooking! I wonder if Rin's screen also did the transition. Look at that scrumptious looking pumpkin pie with the seeds on top and everything. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That creamy roasted pumpkin pureed with spices makes for a quintessential pumpkin pie. Few chefs would have brought out the flavor so well, but the raw ingredients were all you. This is for your, uh, this is for your help with another great dish. Compliments of the chef, a turkey day. Whoa! Now then, for our next dish, we'll make a hearty seafood gratin. I have no idea what that word is. The key ingredients are a, sh a skinny mushroom as well as a mussel. Come back once you've found them. Yes, chef. After I reply to my friend, chef. If I remember how to do that, chef. I don't, I don't, uh, 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 I don't know how to respond. Um, it's this button. Uh. Uh, nope. What's been making over there? Oh, are you making pitfalls? <laughs> you you there making pitfalls? You were there making pitfalls? What are you doing? What are you doing making pitfalls? Okay, so keep my eye out for pitfalls. Noted. Alright, so I need to find, um... Oh, first I should go change my uniform. I should go change my uniform. Stay on task, Widow Gast. Go change your uniform. Oh yeah. That's a good beat. Hold on. Music break. That was good enough. Also, I need a secret. Rachel might enjoy a secret soon, so let's just keep that on the DL. That'll be between you and me. All right, uh, I'm gonna get changed. I need a chef's outfit. I was not prepared for this at all. I have no idea. Um, chef, chef, chef. Um, gosh, I. That's kind of close. Okay. Let's see. I know it's a concierge uniform. And that's not at all what I'm supposed to be, but it's, it's got to be close enough, right? Oh! Nurse's jacket? It looks like a chef thing to me. Right? Right? Guide shirt. Nope, that looks more chefy to me. Okay. Oh, wait, is that a... Oh, 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 okay, okay. Don't even gotta waste my time looking. I got it. All right. Pants, need pants, because that looks like it's a... Hold on, what? Where did my pants go? Oh, because I had the concierge uniform, got it. Okay, so I need pants, so I'm not just running around in my whitey tighties. Um, let's see here. Uh, pants, 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 pants. Stay on task, all right. None of these really look official enough. That's, that'll work, that'll work. All right. Uh, let's see, headwear. Kinda like the hat, kinda like the hat. Nothing really is gonna beat that, I don't think. I don't really think anybody, anything's gonna beat that, okay. Uh, let's see. Yep, that's all good. Um, we do have visitors coming over to our island, and there is still a pandemic, so I should keep my mask on. Go with my shoe. Oh, well, I need no-slip shoe wear, because I'm cooking. So I need non-slip, and boy, I've, having worked at a Chipotle for five years, and then wearing Converse, 
That was not a good time. <laughs> I wore some Converse every now and again because I'd forget my non-slip shoes. Ooh, um, I don't need big boots. Um, you know what? Let's go with, uh, you know what? Let's keep the Converse on. Let's keep the Converse on. And then I'm going to need to gather my ingredients. So that will be good enough. There we go. All right. Report back to duty. All right, so I need more house twins. <laughs> oh, did she go? In, did she go in the house? Hold on. I've obviously, got to be a good, a good gracious host. Okay, so same outside. I think she said what? She said same outside. That's not the right one. Um, that one. Same outside. Look, gotcha. And she went to my office. Nope, she didn't go to my office. Thought she went to my office. She didn't. My office, which still has a lot of empty space that I need to fill. If she's looking around, I need to, I need to be a gracious host. Be a gracious host. See if I can find her. Up oh, there she is. And then it looks like she left, maybe? Or maybe she went upstairs or downstairs. I don't know. Oh. Looks like I got another guest on the way. Tanya from St. Edward. It's me, Mum. Having my family over for Thanksgiving, or for Turkey Day. Having my family over for Turkey Day. Hi, Mom! <laughs> Listen to that music. It's nice and cheerful. Hi, Mom! All right, so what did I need? What did I need? I needed, um, a violin beetle. May as well catch it. Who knows, I might be making snake and spider stew later. I missed, okay. I needed a muscle, and I have no idea what the other thing was. I really don't. Um, I really, really don't. I was supposed to be getting. Chef! Can you tell me again what I needed, Chef? Oh! That green pumpkin and white pumpkin have the scent to them that screams yum! Wait. I bet those two shades of pumpkin could be used to make my pumpkin pie recipe even better. Every professional chef worth the salt knows the greatness is at hand. I can taste it in the air. I need your green pumpkin and your white pumpkin. Trust me, it's all for the greater food. I put a present for you, says Random. Mom says, it's wear straw hat day. Oh. In the pumpkin party. Pumpkin party, that's a good name for that. You're holding the key to a positively delectable pumpkin pie. Help me unlock its flavor potential. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. You won't regret this. I'm going to cook the most amazing pumpkin pie you've ever had. Just you wait. Now then, you've given me everything I need, so... Let's get cooking! It's all sparkly! Oh, is there like... <laughs> the throwing glitter? Wow, your bounty of multicolored pumpkins has revamped the palette! If not the palate of my pumpkin pie, I don't think it would have occurred to me to harvest so many colors of pumpkin for one pie. Hats off to you. That's why you help with another great dish. Compliments of the chef, some turkey day wheat decor. Thank you, chef. I hope you'll be helping out with ingredients for the next course. So find the ingredients and cook them. That's division of labor for you. He didn't tell me what I needed. Oh no. The throwing glitter. Look at that. 
Oh no. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh! <laughs> oh, how do I get out of this? I have no idea how I get out of this. What's going on? Am I just stuck for a minute? Nice flip. Maple leaf umbrella. Noise. Look at that. Oh, no! All right, chef. So I'm looking for, I know I need a muscle. I don't remember the other ingredient. I don't remember the other ingredient. I love the Halloween emotes. I am not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah! Alright, so I need a muscle, and I have no idea, oh my gosh. Alright, um, so a muscle, a muscle needs I need to go swimming, a muscle means I need to go swimming. Awesome that mom's saying is awesome. Is it I think it is. Oh, get it? The Rin Fest. Ha ha. Ha ha. <laughs> hey! Um, I think I remember what it was, because I keep talking about them. I keep talking about the mushrooms. Nothing but the mushrooms. That was the other ingredient. Look, there's a little fairy circle right there, too. <laughs> I needed a mushroom. I think I remember which one. Okay, so, uh, I got, so I've got the mushrooms. I've just had those in stock, because I've been looking for the, I've been looking for the recipes. So, I need to go get a muscle. I'm gonna go swimming. Okay, so my cat was stepping on my computer, and I have no idea how much audio I lost. Hopefully not that much. Did I just get it first try? That's an oyster. Okay, never mind. But I just lost some audio. I don't know how much audio I just lost. But, um, I remembered. I remembered. Um, and I had this relevation with the inability to record it, apparently. That the other thing I needed, I've been talking about them so much. The other thing I needed was a mushroom. I don't remember which one, but I've been stockpiling the mushrooms for the, uh, for the, you know, the, the recipes that I haven't been able to get. Just, I, or rather, haven't been able to find. It's not the game's fault, it's mine. Haha! -ha. Oh, that wasn't quite it. Totally tubular. I'm leaving all of my all of my friends on the island while I'm off in the sea looking for a muscle. Because of course I have muscles, like I've got all I've got all these ingredients that he's asked for so far. You can sit, you can sit where? I've got uh in a leaf pile. Really? I didn't know that. I'm gonna go take a look at that really quick. I didn't know you could sit in a leaf pile. Really? Can you? That's... What? Is that a... How? I don't... 
Is it... Is it specifically this one? How are you doing this, Rin? How are you do How are you doing this? <laughs> How? Rin! Rin! <laughs> How? <laughs> How? <laughs> I don't... I don't... Uh, is it, do I just have a stand on the Redeem book tickets. Or sit emote. Book tickets. And then plum. Book tickets. Mom's gonna go try to do that. But I don't think you can do that on somebody else's island. Oh, a hip reaction collection. All right, let's see here. So, all. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that's some new ones. Um, sighing. Well, some of these flip might be new ones. Um, disagreement. Smirking. Sit down. Oh! Okay, so I go into the leaf pile. And I go to sit. Oh, look at that. I'm sitting in the leaves. I did it. Yeah. What else do I know how to do now? Wave goodbye. Take a picture. Sniff, sniff. Work out. Oh, wow, there's a lot. Yoga. Here you go. Excited. Ah, oh. I'm gonna have to explore those at a future date and time. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do a thing. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna drop a few things. Mom says, gotta go. Love you. Oh, bye. 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 Oh no, she's gonna leave before I get this finished. Having a no ing you exclamation point Alright, let's find us a muscle. So I have all these ingredients that he's asked for so far, like in my in my house storage. But as the chef said, only the freshest of ingredients. Purely the freshest. So, I can't use, you know, I can't use ingredients that have been in the walk-in. No, 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 no. I gotta grab the freshest of ingredients. My friends and my family, my island mates, deserve only the best, the freshest ingredients. Is this gonna be another one of these sea enemies? Oh, it's seaweed! Couldn't kelp myself. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get rid of the turban shell. Whoop! You had a big old turnaround. Ran out of air. Who's all back now? <coughs> Running out of air. There we go. Got a muscle. Yeah, let's swap it with. Let's not accidentally let it go. Um, there we go. I've got two oysters. So I'll let one of them go. Boom! Heading back to the mainland! You know what? While I was dumping inventory, I had the idea. In order to get some of the more recent items out of my inventory, why don't I just set them up? So, let's see here. I've got my turkey day wall. I've got a turkey day... Uh, rug. I'm turning my basement into grandma's place. And I think those are the only ones I had so far. So I'll put this one in my inventory. Uh, let's see, was that all I had? Turkey day wheat decor. That's a little, little sprig of wheat. Excellent. Let me change out of my, uh, my diving outfit. 
And I don't think Mom has actually gone home yet. She said goodbye. But I think... Oh, look, it's got a balloon. <laughs> boing, 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 boing. Where's, do, I have a, do I have a laugh? <gasps> instrument. Oh. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I gotta go get an instrument. I gotta go get an instrument. I've got one, I've got one, I've got one. I've got one, I've got one, I've got one. Oh. I, I, I went and got an instrument. Rin. I got the instrument. Long note. Grand finale. <laughs> oh, is that one? What? Oh, is that one of the new ones? Well, that's certainly not what that was. Um. Oh, it is one of the new ones. Okay, so they, that's what they were doing when they were throwing glitter over there. Okay, um, do I have the? I do have the ingredients, right? I have the muscle, good, and I have all the mushrooms. So uh, when he asks for mushrooms, I can just pick whichever one it is. Our next dish will be gratin. We'll be working from my own recipe, centered on the bounty of the sea. The main ingredients are simple, a skinny mushroom and a mussel. I'll get started prepping it here. Once you've got your hands on the ingredients, bring them back to me. Yes, chef, I have them, chef. So soon? Yeah, soon. Great. That's great. Let me see what you found. Uh, let me end the conversation real quick. Friends leaving. Bye. I mean, I wonder if Mom is still. Yep. So sometimes Mom does this thing where she thinks she uh left, and then she she like goes inside the airport and then walks outside the airport. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Either that or she knows what she's doing, I don't know. So let me just fly through this, get back to where I was. Uh, you said skinny mushroom. Yeah, that one. Okay, and the muscle. Boom. Nice! Reliable assistance and high quality ingredients make a master chef's work so much smoother. I'm improving some of the lines, don't mind me. Now then, I've got everything I need, so. Let's get cooking! Look at that. Oh, that looks really good. But I've noticed it's not sparkling. Masterful! My gratin is filled with the freshest of fresh seafood. It'll be the talk of the town. You know, you're proving yourself quite the catch when it comes to assistance, too. This is for your help with another great dish. Compliments of the chef. Some turkey day flooring. Let's see. Yes, it's time to tackle the final dish. Only the best for our main course. The final dish I have planned is none other than a grand fish menuah. I understand this turkey day, but you wouldn't believe the way they choose to celebrate it in some places. But less said there, the better. We'll need sea bass and red and a red snapper, I think. I'll prove that a minier, I'm guessing on the pronunciation, featuring both of them is inarguably the proper dish for the occasion. This is the final course. Stick with me, and we'll feast like kings! So I need a red snapper and a sea bass. So I'm going fishing. Let's pick these up. Not clutter the island. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. 
feed them some of that clam chowder and look them running, I bet. Tiny fish, I don't think the red snapper is that tiny. I don't even know if that fish can see my bottle right now. Nope. There we go. I gotta close my eyes. Cause that's the tried and true way to get this work done. I got a horse mackerel. Of course, mackerel. Dang it, I meant to switch my fishing pole to the one with the rubber duck too, but you know what? It's okay. It's okay. If I go by my house, I'll do that. If not, it's okay. The visual can be tricky, so every time I fish, I close my eyes. I caught a dab, hold on. Oh, you can't see it, but you can only just assume what I just did. Oh look, another skinny mushroom. Thank you. All the mushrooms. But alas, no recipes to make with them. Ooh, that one's right next to a tree. Is that another one of the rare mushrooms? One of the, uh, one of the, tr the, 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 the truffles. Rare mushroom, aka a truffle. Nice! I don't know why I keep running back and forth. I'm, I'm only sea fishing right now. I'm only sea fishing. Passing Little Egypt. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Heck. Rod. Nope. Oh. No. No. Oh, I caught a sea bass, at least it's a C plus! Is CJ gonna show up at some point to buy all of these? Fuck. Shit. I mean, it's a ray, so it's for Rachel, because that's her favorite, so. Yay, it's a stingray! But, you know. Fuck. Uh. Nope. Shit. Bass fish. King crab. Fluffernutter. Uh, no. fuck. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, oh! Yes! Oh, finally! Ah, um, get out of here, horse mackerel! Oh, good! Oh, my pocket's full of sea life. I'm gonna go back to the chef. My little apron sogging wet with all that fish in my pockets. I'm gonna go back to the chef. Oh, I gotta figure out this accent again. Master has a dazzling presentation of fresh fish. The one, the only, fish minier. The main ingredients are simple, a sea bass and a red snapper. I'll get started preparing it here. Once you get your hands on the ingredients, bring them back to me. I have them, chef. So soon. So soon. You sure that's soon? <laughs> that's great. <laughs> Let's see what you found. Let's see what I found. <laughs> what do I need, a sea bass? Let's do the one that I graded as a B because we got to get the best ingredients. Oh my goodness. Here you go! <laughs> nice! Reliable assistance and high quality ingredients make a master chef's work that much smoother. Now then, I've got everything I need, so let's get cooking! <laughs> Oh my god, that looks so good. <laughs> hey, I know how to do that now, too. We've done it! We've fused two splendid fish to create a minier worthy of a main course. I couldn't have worked my magic without the ingredients you found. We made a complimentary pairing. Gobble, gobble. We got through the entire four course menu I planned for today. I owe much of that to you. In all honesty, in all honesty, I'm deeply thankful for your help today. In honor of that, all of nature's bounty all around us, as well as nature's bounty all around us, I hope you'll accept this cornucopia. Thank you, Franklin. It's an honor. 
Ah, uh, few things are as rewarding as a job well done, don't you think? But the job is done now. So you have my blessing to go and enjoy this turkey day to the fullest. So we didn't follow my tried and true recipes to the letter. Your choice of ingredients was too ingenious not to. It's got me thinking. I suspect all of today's dishes could be enhanced with unconventional ingredients. It's your call, but if you'd like to go above and beyond, bring me any ingredients you think might work. If they improve my recipes, well, I won't credit you, but I will offer you a small reward. With all the fish I caught, one of these better improve that last meal. Let's throw that on that corn coat. Let's throw that on that corn coat. Let's just let's toss it over here on the Halloween table. Bam! Look at that. Beautiful. I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna turn it around. Nope. <laughs> How long is this gonna take? Can I be able to stand up here? Nope, sure not. I can't, I can't open my inventory while I'm sitting, apparently. Okay. Nope. Nope. <laughs> oh, this is a comedy of errors. No, nope, I'm not trying to put down the chair. You know what? That's good enough. That's good enough. So I wonder if any of these fish will improve. Excuse me. Oh, your barred knife jaw is a very interesting ingredient. I knew it. Hang on. Your barred knife jaw could be what? Yeah, could be just what I need to spice up my fish minier recipe. Every professional chef worth their salt knows that knows when greatness is at hand. I can taste it in the air. I'm sorry, but I need you to give me your barred knife jaw. Trust me. Greater good. Holding the key to a positively delectable fish minier. Help me unlock its flavor potential. All right. Yes, chef. You won't regret this. I'm going to cook the most amazing fish minier you've ever had. Just you wait. Now then, you've given me everything I need, so let's get cooking. Oh yes, look at that sparkly dish. Look at them, they're so happy. Oh, my original request would have made a fine minier, but your barred knife jaw was an inspired choice. Our main dish is now even more luxurious. There'll, e there'll even be lines around the block for this one. This is for your help with another great dish. Compliments of the chef. Some turkey day decorations. Something tells me we could even try harder to find unique ingredients and give my recipes a special kick. If you find anything delicious that fits the bill, bring it to me! Let's see, do I have anything on me? All right, so no. All right, so what are the other ones? So the mushrooms won't improve it. So what did I need? This one just needed the, um, the salty boys, they just needed the uh, the manila clams, so I don't know. And then this one, what was this one? Um, that, yeah, that one was the mushroom, the mushrooms and the um, the thing, the other thing, the muscle. So I'm gonna guess both of those need something watery, some sort of sea life. Oh, but in addition to that, um, there was a clip that I had, uh, because in the middle of switching pieces, they're all just dancing around the table. In order, in the middle of fishing for those pieces, I found a thing. I found a thing. So I'm going to cut to that right now. I saw a fish down there, but there's a balloon. Thank you. 
I get a, I got a mushroom recipe! I got a mushroom recipe! I know I saw a fish and I abandoned it to get that balloon, but you know what? It's worth it! Log stool. Oh no, I put all my wood in the, in my house so I could clear inventory space. Oh, 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 what kind of wood does it take? Oh, we're on a mission now, guys. Um, log stool, log stool, log stool. There it is. Regular wood, hardwood, four hardwood. You know what? No patience to go back into the house. No, no patience for that. We're gonna get that wood here and now. Nope, nope. Good, one. No, yes, okay, well, two, three. I'll clean up my junk later. Four. Five, six, oh, my cup runneth over. Craft. Logster, yes, yes. And then from there, I can craft the mush stool. Mush log. Two skinny mushrooms, a pittance. Yes! Can I alter it? Just curious. Cause I know I left my kits back at, uh, I left my kits back at home. Okay, so you can be white mushrooms? Oh, purple, funky purple looking guys. Some Super Mario Red Mushrooms. And some orange ones. Oh, that looks cool. I'll mess with that later. But for now, guys, I've got the best. Gotta, gotta. Hi, horse mackerel. I'm gonna put it. I'm just so excited, I don't know where to put it. Put it front and center, man. I'm just... Bam! Look at that good boy. Oh, I don't sit on it. It's, okay, so it's just a decoration. I don't sit on it. Um, I'll take it over to the Renfest. Take that boy over to the Renfest. Look at that. You know what? You need mushrooms to make your kebabs over here, so you know what? Fresh mushrooms for the kebabs. Look at that. Beautiful. Perfect. All right. Back to fishing. Now, wasn't that something special? So, it's time for us to look for some extra ingredients. And I know somebody here may have this. Yeah, me too. Like, not gonna lie. <laughs> Luckily, grown ingredients. It's so trendy. <laughs> not that they're good, it's just trendy. Aw, thanks, Agnes. Agnes, one of my two original villagers, along with Hamlet. I was speaking of Hamlet. I haven't seen him in a bit lately. He was here at the beginning. Where'd he go? Did he go home? Hamlet. My guy, my dude, my buddy, my bro. My muscle bound bro. Hamlet. You, out, you ain't out here enjoying in the festivities? Got some explaining to do for that, buddy. Oh, he is home. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you thinking about, bud? We match! 
Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. I mean, I know you can't see it, but... Uh, splash a dab. There we go. Wait. Is this the game's way of giving me the ingredient without making me guess? Oh. Oh, buddy. Hamlet. Hamlet is my favorite villager. I'm not going to lie to you. Hamlet is my favorite villager. Oh. <laughs> I was expecting something else. Oh. Okay. A scallop. Considering I gave you a muscle, yes. Like one of the, I don't think you can see it here, but one of the things I've gifted Hamlet is a muscle. Okay. So yeah, that is the way of the, uh, that is the way for the game to tell me what I need to do next. Oh, I need to go get a scallop. Oh, oh, so I need to go just talk to my villagers. Flora, do you got anything for me? And all I had to do is give him my dab to do it. What you got for me, Flora? Oh, we matched too. Okay, so everybody's got chef out chef outfits. Okay, that's awesome. You can have all of them. You can have all of them. So they're just giving me poo poo ingredients, but they're telling me the good ones. I hope it's not the same one. Okay. Okay, so that's the one I already did. Okay. Cool, so she did give me a different tip, but it's the one I already had. So I know I need to go get a scallop. This kit? This kit. Okay. Let's see what mom's cooking. Yeah! This kit is so nice. Oh, I don't have one because I, I emptied a little bit of my inventory. Oh, so I gotta go get another dab. Okay, let me go, let me go. It's not gonna be the freshest ingredient. Cause I'm just gonna go grab it out of my home. So I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go get a dab really quick. I mean, uh, what? No, I had it right here. I totally didn't just go back to my house to get it. The freshest. I only put it in the walk-in like a little bit ago. And by the walk-in, I mean my house's inventory, my storage. Yes, please. But, okay, so you gave me that, what's... Yeah, that's what I was looking for, okay, good. Good. Okay, so it's they're they're telling me to get the yeah they're telling me to get the scout. But what's the last one? What's the last one? Thank you, Kit. I appreciate it. All right, so those are my only villagers doing stuff right now. So I don't have okay. So I don't have the information. Oh, I know I need a scallop. Right, so I can go this way. I can take the path, the red. I can take the red path. So I know I need a scallop. But I don't know what the other thing is. Oh. Oh, that's new. I hope that's not something I need for a recipe. <laughs> I 
See, that was the 13th try. That was the 13th dive I made. So that was a baker's dozen. And there, there's a little bit of misconception about what a baker's dozen is based on some of the people I've talked to. Some people will say a baker's dozen is 11, but the way I understand it is a baker's dozen is 13. And I haven't really been able to find a definitive answer anywhere about that. You see, because some people say it's a baker's dozen being 11, because a baker will make a dozen and eat one for himself. I understand that logic, but it's incorrect. Because that means you've got a really shoddy, unprofessional baker. A baker's dozen is... A baker's... A baker's dozen? A baker's dozen is 13. Because a baker will make 13 and eat one for himself, leaving the 12 for the customer. So a baker's dozen is 13, not 11. At least that's the way I understand it. And I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm... I'm fairly certain. So... I don't know. To anybody who actually knows that, post in the comments. And we'll, um, uh, yeah, just, just see. Is a baker's, is a baker's dozen 11 or is it 13? And I'm gonna actually go try and get that balloon that I saw floating by. See if I can get another recipe. First try. Yeah, this one was something, man. Just toss in the middle of the guy. Oh, oh, it disappeared. Okay. Wasn't sure that didn't know that was gonna happen. Snowy knit cap. Alright, it's getting me ready for the Christmas event. It's preparing me. The game is preparing me for the Christmas event. Back to it. All right, there we go. I stopped counting. That had to have been somewhere between 30 and 50 pulls. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm gonna swap it. Yeah, yeah, put that thing in my inventory right now. Bye bye, turban shell. And I've noticed whenever it asks you to swap, Pascal doesn't show up. So I'm sad you don't get to see Pascal right now, but you know what? It's okay. It's okay. We're done. God, I just I just hope out of everything in my inventory. I just hope out of everything in my inventory, one of these things that I pulled up ran is randomly the other thing that I need. <gasps> I actually got two of the king crabs. I'm happy about that, because just in case it's the king crab. So I found two. Because I, I haven't found them before. So just in case that is the right thing, I can give Blathers the other one. So... <laughs> Look, it's the mushroom boy. All right, I'm coming, chef. I'm coming, chef. Let me just throw this seaweed on the ground so I can take off the swimsuit and address you properly. Whew. Let me just put it there in my grape basket. All right. <clears throat> All right. Oh, your scallop is a very interesting ingredient. Hang on. A scallop would be just what I need to spice up my clam chowder recipe. Every professional chef was uh, what the salt knows when greatness is at hand. I can taste it in the air. I'm sorry, but I need you to give me your scallop. Trust me, it's for the greater good. You're holding the key to a, po a positively delectable clam chowder. Help me unlock its flavor potential. Yes, chef. You won't regret this! I'm going to cook the most amazing clam chowder you've ever had. Just you wait! Now then, you've given me everything I need, so let's get cooking! Oh, look at that sparkly clam chowder. Huzzah! They're throwing glitter! Oh god. Your ingredients have pushed my clam chowder recipe to previously undreamt of heights. With the addition of a hearty scallop to the manila clams, it's no longer merely soup. It's super duper! 
This is for your help with another great dish. Compliments of the chef. A turkey day hearth. Ooh. Something tells me we could even try harder to find unique ingredients to give my recipes a special kick. If you find anything delicious that fits the bill, bring it to me! I'm just gonna cross my fingers and hope. Oh, your Dungeness Crab! The Dungeness Crab? Where did I I didn't fit... Kit. I made fun of that. Oh, Kit, give me exactly what I needed. Kit is a secret master chef. Hang on, your Dungeness crab could be just what I need to spice up my gratin recipe. Every professional chef worth their salt knows when greatness is at hand. I can taste it in the air. I'm sorry, but I need you to give me your Dungeness crab. Trust me, it's for the greater good. You're holding the key to a positively delectable gratin. Help me unlock its flavor potential. Yes, chef! You won't regret this! I'm going to cook the most amazing routine you've ever had. Just you wait. Now then, you've given me everything I need, so, and for the last time, let's get cooking! And there we are. We've done it. A full four course meal of sparkling, unique, Amazing, delectable dishes! I'm gobsmacked! Those thick crab legs really lend some depth to my standard gratin recipe. Looking at the finished gratin gives me goosebumps, and I'm not even a goose! <laughs> Good gobble! All four of the courses we prepared today have surpassed my original recipes! You've done so much for me. I need to think hard about the best way to thank you. Oh, I've got it! DIY is popular on this island, right? You create a lot of what you need? Well, how about this? It's a recipe collection that teaches you how to make turkey day themed furniture and other things besides. The shop should carry it starting tomorrow. But they gave me an advanced copy. And now it's yours! I may be a, gener a genius at the stove, but furniture is beyond me. I think these plans belong with you instead. All the recipes will be added to your Nook phone app, including the ones for items I've already given you. If you liked any of those, try making them yourself. You know, at first I only thought of you as an amateur ingredient gopher, but the ingredients you brought me led to all sorts of flavor breakthroughs. I learned a lot. I think I'm ready to upgrade you to professional ingredient gopher. Congratulations! But no, you've earned a break. Go take some time to really, truly enjoy the rest of your turkey day. Thank you, Chef. I appreciate everything you've done for me. And I have to I have to greet you in the in the proper chef salutation way. Thank you, Chef. Alright. I don't usually use them in ways they're supposed to be. Like, I know I use the, the greetings as also a goodbye. And I also use the, um... I use the... What was it? The apologetic as a... Thank you. Or you're welcome. Whatever you need to bow for. So I have earned the DIY recipes, which apparently are already in my phone. Where's the turkey day horse? Like? Oh, that looks nice. Alright. And then go to the phone. Is it just all the all the recipes? Or is there anything new there too? Oh look, okay, so we got the chair. We got a table. Oh, I like the garden stand. Turkey Day Hearth. Turkey Day Casserole. Table setting and all the other good stuff. Alright, cool. Well, that just about does it for today. For our lovely Turkey Day event. I would like to thank all of you for watching Zombie Chris, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye! Thanks, Rin.